what is good guys we are back with more world cup we got tricking versus metal gross and i don't want the stall to be on my side go away stall so he brings the different stall team that we haven't seen this world cup yet which was used in spl a lot and metal gross brings a really cool team with probably scarf and fernie maybe z move landers Uh, default Mew But yeah, don't do this to me man. I'm tired. Why do you have to bring stall? There's also Aura's game going on and Porsche's game, but I missed Porsche's game in the beginning because I was recording other Sun and Moon games So I decided that I will focus on Sun and Moon for now because there's so many games going on at the same time So I will not record the Aura's game for now because I basically missed 25 turns of it anyway. Um, at first I was playing to do like to like re narrate over the 20, first 25 turns and then live record the end of the OS game but this game just popped up when I started recording so I said uh, let's record this trickiness on Team Italy I think <clears throat> and Metal Gross I'm actually not sure probably some US team So he goes for Toxic turn 1 and catches the Zard, so that's a big turn. He doesn't have heal battle or anything. He led off with Tango, so that allowed the Sable to freely click Toxic. So I'm assuming the Toxic is maybe over the Protect slot and he might not have Protect on this. Oh, and maybe he has Protect because he stayed in. So he has Protect and Toxic. So what move slot is he lagging? He either doesn't have Will-O-Wisp or he doesn't have... Like, if he has to have Recover. He has to have recover and then it's either between Willow Wisp and Knockoff. I assume he just doesn't have Willow Wisp on the Sabre. But yeah, um, he gets the Landris in. Sub SD Smackdown Landris. If the Skarmory doesn't have Willow can put in work. I think this other game that just started is not for World Cup, right? Okay, this other game is just a friendly. I'm gonna click X on it real quick. Like, you either go for Rocks Break in the Skarmory or you he goes for Off Quick Break in the Sable. Mm, yeah, I don't think Metal Gross is gonna be able to break the Soul team. And yeah, the hype is real, guys. Mr. Jambot is playing in 4 hours. Wait, did Oblivion also play a game? No, he said you won. Okay, never mind. He was talking about Chill Shadows game, I think. So you went in the Celestia. So that probably tells us that the Landris can't touch his Gamry. So this is really bad. Because if Landris is the rocker, he won't be able to get a Brock. So he's going for the Flamethrower Burn. So this has a knockoff over Willow Wisp. Really interesting. Last move has to be Recover, obviously. And I think he's just going to go for Recover here. Yep. And I think this is gonna be a kind of quick game because I think Metal Gross will just run out, out of things that have a chance to break the stall team and then he will eventually forfeit. Um, maybe in like the next 15 minutes, we'll see. Like usually I don't have a problem even recording long stall games but people just keep bringing stall. And it's only good in the sense that I haven't slept much and it's kind of easier to narrate the stall game because it's like pretty obvious what is going to happen, if that makes any sense, yeah. So he got up the teeth bike before the Mew came in, so if the Mew defogs it's going to get poisoned. So you already know like this is already poisoned. If he gets, like, if Tricking gets up the rocks, eventually Mew is forced out, like, sooner or later to defog, and then it will get poisoned too. And his entire team will just get worn down way more. There's already less his leftovers. I just don't see anything that breaks stall. Like, is there some special Inferno set that can break stall? No. And even if there was, it would get trapped by Ducky after something would die. Yeah, exactly. The Sun and Moon game looks over in favor of the stall. I mean, pretty over.
Posha said I didn't think I played up until this one. I, I think he didn't sleep much. So same with me. Like I, <laughs> I took like a one or two hour nap earlier. Missed, missed Finch's game, but for, for a second I was like shocked, but then I realized it was black and white anyway. And yeah, the focus is more on Sun and Moon and Aura, if you guys notice. And yeah, like I said, at the moment if there's two games at once, I will focus on the Sun and Moon one. I'm kind of curious if Porsche won his game. I'm just gonna see the result. Yeah, he won his game, but it was pretty close. 1-0. I think he could have. He said he could have played it different. And then the Chill Shadow game. I'm not gonna. Okay. I think Chill Shadow lost to Guilas. This Guilas guy seems really good. I recorded this first game versus. I think he's. Is he? Never mind. He's Spanish, and he, I think he lost versus the Grease guy. But that game was really cool. Versus the Grease guy that he played. I recorded that like last weekend. So yeah, that's the rocks go up. Oh, well, he had rocks. Yeah, he had rocks on Chansey, that's standard. For a second, that's how he had rocks on Scum, usually. But yeah, the rocks on, Gen on, Clevis, uh, on Chansey is standard in this team. So yeah, like I said, when a Mew comes in, it's gonna get poisoned before it can default. Sable, I guess, a free knock off here. Mew being poisoned also means that it can't blow with the Sable Eye, because Usually if you Mew isn't status you can blue with this. The Willowis would get bounced back to the Mew and then both Pokemon would get burned. So that would be a bit annoying for the Sableye, but yeah, you can't even do that. I mean it wouldn't be the end of the world for tricking because he has heal ball and stuff, but uh, at least the Mew could have done like something and be a little bit annoying if it could have done that. But he was on Zard and he gets a crit there that I don't think it will be game deciding, it just speeds up the process a little bit more, that the Zard get, that gets worn down more. So he goes out into Landris again. And if he goes for rocks here, which, yeah, exactly. If he doesn't go with Sable, he can go for rocks. And he is the Smackdown set, so that is the only thing that I can see putting in some work. And Psychic Mutu vs. White Queen just started. People just won't stop um, playing two games at once, and White Queen decides to bring Pressure Stall. Um, the first game that White Queen played was the Eternal Spirit. He, he actually brought rain and was kind of interesting game. But yeah, now he decides to go back to his. Oh, he doesn't have a chance. Wow, that's interesting. He has a Dougie though, which um, like most stalls have a Dougie today. Like he has pressure stall, pressure cure. My assumption is going to be sub, pressure sub does. Um, double wish pass. I assume pretty disgusting. So he's over Mega more while. He doesn't have any healing wish support, so I don't know if he wants to let us get burned early in early in the game. But he has come in for defog here on the smackdown and Tricking has to see what he can switch in on the earthquake here as most Sableyes are more spit death and it's also at 75, so Sableye won't be able to switch in. And he just saves him with the Skarmory, and if he counters here, the Landorus is dead. And that was like the main Pokemon. Uh, this game is over. The Landorus was the main Pokemon that could do something. It was the Rock Setter, and it was able to apply some offensive pressure, but now it's dead. If he substituted there, if he had that, it probably didn't have it, but if he subbed there... Dang, this Landorus could have put in the work. Tricking would have been forced into class, but if it was... If it would have been Earth Plate, I don't know if it was Earth Plate. That they would have put in a lot of work with that specific subset. Can someone answer what the point of Purim is? So I assume he's gonna U-turn on the obvious Toxic Packs. Uh, but this game is pretty over, so... Goes into Tangles, this is just a free uh, Sable Eye. You can even stay in and get a T-Spike back up. But yeah, he goes Sable because he doesn't want to lose the Black Sludge on his... Toxapex, so we will see what happens here. Switches out on the Kelly on the will -O -Wisp. He didn't Mega, obviously, so he can keep the Prankster. Uh, most Megas got buffed this gen, but Sable, I kind of got nerfed because um, you don't have Prankster anymore on the first turn if you Mega Wolf. So he gets a Toxic off. I assume this is going to be... Um, I'm not sure if it's Specs or Scarf yet, but I'm pretty sure it's a Choice Lock Kelly. He does have Heal Bill on the Clefable, so it's not the end of the world for White Queen. As... He only has... Yeah, she has one d and the uh, Magic Bounce thing. So he's gonna go Zapdos here. 
Just in case the Pharaoh goes for hazards, it's gonna be bad, he needs to get rid of them. I can see if this has knockoff, I can see him going for that to get rid of the leftovers, exactly. That's pretty nice. Yeah, there isn't really any point. GG, he said something in Italian. But yeah, at least this game was short. Like I said, he doesn't have anything to break this after, especially after Landros went down. I mean, I thought he didn't have anything, but then he showed that Landros said. I got a little bit, a little, little bit excited after I saw SmackDown, but yeah. If he really had subbed, that would have been nice. Tricking picks up the win for Team Italy, and I'll, you guys will see in a thumbnail which team Metal Gross is on. I don't really know. Some US team. And yeah, White Queen gets knocked off. Doubles on the Clefable, I'm predicting. Second into the Switch, feeling the. Fearing the heat wave, but he tricks the Clefable, so he cripples the Clefable, which is a good play. I mean, he did get rid of the status. That Draco did a fuck ton. So, this is more fist death oriented Albumola, I assume. He's gonna wish, right? Scald trying to get the burn, okay. Yeah, the Zapdos was still healthy, so there was no point in wishing, I guess. And the laddie at minus two wasn't doing too much damage, so he has forced into Zapdos every time on this. You can see Leech Seed coming out, he goes for rocks first. Um, is they gonna Leech Seed now or switch on something like Zygarde? Like, Zygarde is kind of annoying for White Queen's team. I've seen the Curum on stall once, this RNT, which is like more fist oriented Curum, and it actually took Bandit Thousand Errors decently well from Zygarde. But the Cla. Yeah, he also has Alamomola to take on the Zygarde, so. Yeah, he's, he's fine with Zygarde. Yeah, Zygarde is not the biggest deal. Because like we saw of the Draco did the decent chunk, this Alamola is more fist oriented. Um, Spike's Greninja is actually really nice. Before, especially before the Sableye is Mega Evolved, they won't be able to switch into that. I assume it's going to be live or Grin. As he's trying to fish for the burn here. Or not trying, like he's fishing for the burn. I mean, basically the same thing, I don't really know. But I was, why, why I said that's so weird, but yeah, Elite there putting the Zapdos, and I assume he's gonna go on the Zapdos on this turn. Maybe predicting the Feral to try and knock off the Alamomola. As he does go into Greninja, if this is Ice Beam, this might be a roll. So getting rid of the leftovers early on was nice. So. This is another back-to-back -back stall action um, recording. <laughs> but yeah, um, the first game stall just kind of auto won, but this this game he actually has a chance to put in some work. Like Psychic Mewtwo. I know Psychic Mewtwo is, um, knows how to play versus Stall. In OUPL he used like Semi Stall himself, so like he definitely knows all the, how all the play styles work. So there's a substitute there, there's no choice bandit, and this is actually a big threat. Considering that the Clefable got tricked. Like a bandit Zygarde is fine to check for Wild Queen, but this is a problem. Because something is going to catch this young Toxic here. Alomola cannot break the substitute. Clefable is going to catch this Toxic. And he has to lock himself into something. Which if he wants to break the sub, he has the Moonblast. And this can just sub again. And this won't work for White Queen. And if he heals, this also doesn't work. Like, I think a second Eater just wins this. My lord. That's like, that's like actually high... Like, it's kinda like having because two stall games and the video has only been 14 minutes. Like, I love when the stall games don't take 5 years. He does decide to go for Moombas, but this is completely fine. He can just. Either sub or T arrows, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna sub till this is in range, so I think he's gonna sub once more. And then he's gonna T arrows. To pick up the Claw Fable and get some more leftovers back, and he's gonna be at like 63. And if the Dagi Z move, maybe that can kill, but he goes in the that makes more sense, yeah. So I assume we're gonna see the Pharaoh Thorn switch here. 
Most of these cubes that carry like sub roost, earth power, ice beam. You got hard Kaleo. Um, that that's actually a fine play, yeah. Yeah, because Ferrothal might not even be able to break it. He has protect. So this is some super weird hyperstall set, as someone might call it. Protect plus pressure, oh my lord. Sugar and get this money. I know this is not for World Cup. Because get this money is playing Auras in World Cup and I recorded this game earlier. Vince Kurum, don't say this man. <laughs> but yeah, the burn is helping White Green out here. He's actually PP stalling this out of Secret Sword with the Protect sub left or with Kurum, disgusting. And it actually works, it beats the Choice Lord Kelly 1 on 1, that's crazy. That is insane. Like, <laughs> whoever. Who makes these sets? Like, what the fuck is this wild set? So I assume the only attacking move... So, nah, actually it might have two attacking moves. It might just not have Roost because it has lefties and Protect to get health back. Look at this. Kelly has only two Secret Swords left and he... Like, he will struggle if he stays in. I think he should switch out. Cause you can protect it and sub again and this will run out of secret sword after that. I guess it's fine to like weakness. Yeah, but that's the roost, exactly. Wait, what the fuck? I just said he doesn't have roost, never mind, never mind. What? What? So he only has ice beam. This boy is insane. And yeah, he could have subbed again, but I guess this was an okay play. So, this is only leftovers, but still, he doesn't really have a Draco switch, and he lost his Clefable. This team doesn't have a chance. He, uh, Zapdos might be able to take um, a Draco into a minus two Draco, but it probably won't be able to take Psychic Stab into Draco. So, we, will, we shall see here. He goes for Protect Classic. Get some leftovers, get the PP stall. No, <laughs> he's stalling out Draco. Yeah, look, if Zapdos doesn't take Draco into Draco here, he has to sack something. But also, like I said, if Zapdos takes Draco into Draco, uh, Psychic Mito might just go for Psychic Step, breaking the Zapdos here. So this is a uh, kind of tough position. Ban pressure, please. I would be so frustrated if I wasn't World Cup and I would have to play one of these stall teams. Oh, he misses a Draco, that sucks. I mean, I don't think it would have killed. Yeah, I would have done like 60 something, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Like, the Alan Waller would have been low. Like, you guys can see, yeah, 57. It's gonna wish here. It's called, wow. Gets the burn classic. <laughs> Left was Ladios, I mean he he tricked earlier. Yeah. It was specs, I think. What other games there? Gen 5, Gen 7. I don't know, I think this get this money games for some other tour. But he gets the Curum on the Desire Guard. Nice play. He knew that the Ladi wouldn't stay in. So if, he, if his Qurum has enough speed, I mean this is a bulky Zygarde so the Qurum should be faster, he can substitute here, but the thing is, he probably only has Ice Beam. If he has Earth Power, this is ingenious maneuvers, but then he gets Walt Ballady. But yeah, he's just gonna go for Protect, he goes for Ice Wand, he already knows that White Queen has some Protect shenanigans going on there. This boy is really gonna try to PP stall us. He didn't tag a <laughs> battle of ice. <laughs> Ooh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just gonna record this alone. Because I feel like the videos are kind of different. Sometimes if I have someone in call, for some reason I can't. I don't really like analyze, concentrate on the game. Eh. No, 
not necessarily. It depends. But like two or three hours ago, I just thought I couldn't record any games because like after my two-hour nap, I was so dead. But yeah, thankfully it got a little bit better. You try to play Winkun games. I mean, they already said Vince Kieran or something like that earlier in the chat. Ice Punch Fire Vein, that's really interesting. So he's trying to Oko Zygarde's Landorus without missing. And Fire Fang is for Scissor and Ferrothorn. So I assume this is not gonna have SD. I assume either Player of and Sucker Punch? Like Player of and Sucker Punch? Or maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think Player of and Sucker Punch are the last moves. They should Player of you. I mean, this Kiron. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting, but it still can't do this forever. Oh wait, why did he roost? He breaks them to not go- Oh, he breaks them to not go for a player of- That was risky, but it worked. So now he's gonna go for protect, you know? I mean, white green is really interesting. Like, he somehow pulls out wins with these weird stall teams sometimes. I haven't seen him play in forever. But I remember him using a team like this in Auras. Uh, I don't remember if it had a Dougie or if it had a Chansey or a Dougie. But I remember that I had those two months. Alumola on the fire thing. Whew. Gets the burn. Whew. I mean, he did get a scored burn earlier, but fire thing burn, I think, is only 20 or 10% chance. I think 10%. Also, wait, this Alumola is faster. What the fuck? And it dies. Whew. So now he goes into. Dougie might die to Sucker Punch because the potential stash is broken by the spike. So yeah, I think this game is over. <laughs> it has been fun. Why is he slow in mobile? Yeah, I don't understand. He doesn't have Trick Room support or anything. Yes, there is a Discord server. So the matches are posted, but. I pretty much record 80% of the games, at least for the newer gens. But yeah, if you know my channel, you know this. <laughs> but it's fine. And people just want to watch them games live. But yeah, shouts to my boy Dennis, he also watches. Some games that he sees live, still on my channel. Whew, that boy. I mean, I don't only. I think I've talked about this before. I don't only do this for views or like growing my channel. I also do this for like providing uh, World Cup content for people that have. That don't have that much free time. Like, they can't be online at the time the matches are played because of work or time zones or whatever. But yeah, that will always miss the matter, obviously. He was already burned and. If the Moai stayed in there, I would have been completely obliterated. The Sabre would have been gone if they had a player of. But, like, Psyche Mute is just pretty much in control of this game. After he tricked that Calfable and Zagat got that first skill, it was already looking nice. And Moai being slower than Alamona was really weird, but it could avoid the burn, which was nice and lucky. Um, I mean, it's only 30% chance, so. You can't ask for a burn every turn. So, like, look at the white queen, like, having protect on QM and probably this Clive also had protect, this other probably has protect, Sable has protect, and these two have pressure. Like, four months with protect, two months with pressure. Wow. Whew. That's an evil looking team. I'll recover without Mega Evolving, so he's trying to keep his Prankster ability, so he's gonna recover again. Yeah, the reason he's not Mega Evolving to keep Prankster is so he can Will Wisp the Mega Mawile later on if it comes to Sable was Mawile one on one scenario. Why is he not Mega? Yeah, like the only reason is to keep Prankster for Mawile Wisping. For Wisping Mawile. So the shot. Ice. Wait, he didn't take life of recall when he shot Ice Beam. 
but did he use it on use it on Albumola? So I guess he could be expert Bill Grimm. It, did he change up moves? If he didn't change up moves, this could also be Scarf Grimm. Greninja used spikes on turn 11. Because I have seen spikes on Scarf Greninja before. How much did the Keldia? Did we see how much the Keldia did to anything? We don't know how much the Keldia did because the Kyurem just was sub stalling. So we, I don't know about if the Keldia was the Scarf or if the Greninja is the Scarf. I assume he's only doing 44. Hmm. I'm thinking the Greninja might be the Scarf, but I'm not really sure. Like at this point of the game, at first I thought different. But White Queen is really. I mean, he's gonna get frozen eventually, right? What is he doing? Like, huh? Oh, there goes the spike up because he refuses to mega evolve to keep the pranks there. So it's not Scarf that's confirmed. Now he changed the moves. So we know that the Kelly has to be Scarf then. Pretty sure. Yep. Like you need some sort of space speed control. and I mean, he still has East Bay and Sucker Punch, but yeah, you still want the Scarf. But this was Specs. So this has to be Scarf. Uh, Psychic like Mewless team is kind of cool. It looks a little bit weird, but I like it when the team's not super standard. Like this combination of mods, this exact combination. At least, like, I know some of these mods are super standard, but this exact combination of mods is not really common. And he does go for Spike on the Protect, playing like a god. Yeah, sure, I got this money. There's another game. I assume this is um, maybe for you, Circuit? Circuit? I don't know how to pronounce it. But it's like a best of three or single elimination tour. I mean, you're gonna get frozen eventually. Exactly. I just call it. Whew. Goodbye. So I think. Uh, yeah, Saki Mildo is playing for. US West, if I recall correctly, and working for Team Asia, if I didn't mention that in this video yet. And I think this is Psyche in the third game already, and he went 2 and 1 if he wins this. Switches out, and Sable doesn't thaw on the first try, he can still thaw here. He doesn't thaw, and the player of does connect, the Sable is gone, and Ducture will be in range from Sucker Punch, so the only way Ducture you can. Beat the mall as if it has um, substitute to apply the sucker punch. So I assume he's gonna go for discharge or heat wave here. Uh, he might be carrying HP ice on this too. But the ice punch clean out goes. Um, obviously, Adam makes a tech more while. This game is over. Now Dagi can kill the mall while, but Psychic Mewtwo has so many things on the back that just win the game now. Like Watkins can, can still play around a bit, like if he goes on the Kelly afterwards, Watkins can bring in the Cure and predicting a water move and if he can avoid the burn it's gonna be going for a little bit longer, but like this gets brought onto his sash and this, this is gonna be over soon. And the earthquake doesn't even kill! My lord, I thought it would that's why that's why he has that bulky spread, that's why he was slower than Alamola. He has enough bulk so Dagi doesn't kill him. Oh my lord, what a and he didn't. Oh, he didn't sucker punch. Break in Ducky to go for rocks or something to apply the sucker punch. What a god! Tactical maneuvers. So I think he's just gonna stay in with this more while. At this point, there's not really point in switching, right? And uh, the BB store goes on. There's the sub, I guess you can... Yeah, going for Ice Punch is fair, because you don't want to miss the player first. this. Ooh, Fire Fan Crit, Bop. I mean, Psychic Mewtwo will play this game fine, and White Queen had a really awkward stall. This so stall going 1-1 one, one this video, first stall just... Pretty much having a 6-0 in the second stall, pretty much getting 6-0. Maybe he will get 
eventually kill this, but yeah, he always said GG. The player off picks up the Kyurem, and yeah, he actually was a sixth of the world, so he would even at least try to kill this. My lord, thank you guys for watching, and I will be back later, and I'm hyped for Mr. Jammoth's game. Whew. Not sure if I will upload Jammoth's game before or after this, but you guys will see, so goodbye. Hope you all enjoyed the World Cup coverage.